Hi everyone, this is Danae here and I'm coming to you from super sunny London. I'd like to speak to you today about the ETIAS, which is scheduled to come out in November 2023, but it, there might be some delay on that. Um, and what it is, what it stands for is the European Travel Information and Authorization System. And um, the ETIAS is a visa waiver and this will become applicable to all the non-EU countries who currently are visa exempt from entering the Schengen zone of the EU. So um, the European Commission is bringing this out to further strengthen its borders and provide more security about who is entering the country. Um, so there are about 50 countries who are visa exempt from the entering the EU or the Schengen zone. Um, they are two different things, by the way, um, but they overlap each other and the EU is a great portion of the Schengen zone. And um, so the ETS is actually a visa waiver and countries who are visa exempt, such as uh, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, USA, um, and the UK will, in the near future, need to um, apply for an ETS visa waiver. And that application will involve, it's not long, but it's about 10 minutes, um, 10 minutes online. You have to pay a fee, I don't know how much that is. Um, and the visa waiver will last for a duration of three years. So every three years, you're going to need to do it again and um, they collect this information about you. But if you are a Greek citizen with an EU passport, this you not have to apply for the ETS visa waiver if you are from a non-EU country. So if you have not reside in a non-EU country. So that's one more pork perk, not pork, it's one more perk to, to becoming a Greek citizen and acquiring your Greek EU passport amongst all the other, benef other benefits such as reduced length of stay restrictions in any of the EU countries. Um, so instead of 90, well the ETS visa applies to 90 days short term stays so this will not apply to you. Another perk that I discovered while travelling um, in Europe over the last week and a half with my son is that when you get to, to airports that, um, of EU countries, there are two lines for passport control. One is for EU passports and one is for non-EU passport holders. And the perk is that in the EU passport queue, it's really not a queue, you just sort of say, it seems to sail right through, easy as. Um, but all the non-EU passport holders, um, which now includes a lot of Brits, as I saw, um, have to queue up and um, go through the process to get through. Not very long, but it just um, they ask you where you're going and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, another great little perk for having an EU passport. Of course, there are heaps of benefits in becoming a Greek citizen. Uh, not only for greater connection with your family's homeland um, by going next to the Greek and becoming a citizen, but also, of course, you, uh, you can stay in any of the 27 EU countries that you want. So, by becoming a Greek citizen and being able to buy your EU passport means that you can. Um, change your home base with where you are it's not working for you at the moment or in pursuit of work or if just things aren't going right in your area of the world um, you can you have the option to move and live in any of the EU countries that you wish also you have the option to retire in any of the EU countries that tickle your fancy and even if none of those things um, are aligned to how you see the future, 
think about our kids, um, when you become a Greek EU citizen, it makes it much easier for them to become Greek EU citizens as well. So think about their future and um, open up the world for them. I want you to realise that you are the lucky ones. Not only do you have legendary Greek genes, but you can exercise your Greek birthright and become a citizen of Greece and the EU. That is awesome. So, put any feelings of hesitancy aside and go and exercise your birthright and become Greek EU citizens to give you all those extra benefits that being a Greek citizen has to offer you. Um, so many benefits will open up to you, so many, so many things um, are there for you to enjoy and um, you develop an even greater connection with your homeland by visiting Greece, beautiful Greece, as a citizen rather than a foreigner. So it's all there for you, just waiting for the taking. And um, I'm here to guide and support you with my ebooks, Guide to Your Greek Citizenship by Descent, and Guide to Deferring Your Greek Army Service Indefinitely. Guide to Your Greek Citizenship by Descent is an ebook that I have written um, after having assisted my sons with their Greek registration process. Uh, it contains absolutely everything we need, everything, everything, from start to finish from the first consulate appointment until them getting their Greek first. It answers so many questions on so many different topics and uh, it has um, tips, timelines, it has, um, what else, it has just lots of good, useful information and some information that you won't find anywhere else because it has come from our personal experience. The ebooks also have, uh, contain tables of our documents, examples of our documents, um, so that you can be sure that you're on the right track and get all the information that you need. Um, and also research from, from um, verified sources, such as Consulate in Melbourne. Uh, so, yep, it's all there waiting for you. You just need to... The <laughs> so, um, if you need a bit of guidance, if you need some support, um, my ebook is here for you, and for both ebooks. So, as you can see, now I am seated at the Olive. I have placed my order and have received my order. This beautiful strawberry daiquiri, which actually matches the colours of the buses. Oh, it's so full that it's spilling. And not only that, I have my olives as well from the olive. Yasas, naise olikala, ke adio.